This is Tony of Tony's Music. I'm going to start with a Toon Lee video which I'm going to make and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it audio because I want to teach you about how to do the audio stuff on Toon Lee, whatever it is. I'm going to try and help you by showing you how to do everything on there that way, right? So I'm just adding some props now. Uh, just give me a few minutes to add some props. Once I've added the props and got them working right, then I will uh, add the audios and show you how it all works. Okay. Right. So, let's do that car first. Right, so I need a car. That big, maybe smaller. And all the way down there. Right, so that's where he's starting off. And I want it to come up here to us. So it goes that way. And might be a bit too big now. So just take him down a little touch. And then like that. Uh, the vehicle that is. That's okay. Right, so we'll have a look at that. That's. Yep, that's going okay. Right, so that's one. Second one is this one. And I want that really big, so I need it to be on an incline first. A bit more of an incline, I see. To swap it out, swap it over, pull it bigger. That's it, sort of that big, right? Now what I need to do is put it at its initial location, which is down here, and I want it to go all the way over to there. And pass the screen if possible, like right, uh, and then that'll be all right. So what I need to do is do that there. This one I want to go a bit slower, so I'm going to drag it out a bit, and then I want to add a character as well. So I'll add this character here, the first one, and I'm going to call him Eric or something. Like right, uh, um, there you go. I'll put that down there. A character. Right. Now what I'm gonna do with him is I'm gonna walk him at first, so I want him to walking, right? And then I don't want to bounce on him, so I need him instant. Right, and then he's gonna walk a lot from from there where he is. He's gonna walk right up to here. walk right up to get off bloody thing okay walk him right up to here like that so he can talk to us right there like that and when he does get here and he's going to have a lip sync on lip sync that's it and he's going to say something. Right, so that's what we're trying to do. Try and get that like that. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, he's going a bit fast for a kid. As fast as a car nearly. So what we'll do is we'll pull him across this way a bit. So it takes him a bit longer to do it. We want to make sure he's at the background more than anything else. Otherwise, it look weird. Right, so that's what we'll do. Just in case the car goes past him, which it, it was going to, yeah. So, oh, I've got the, uh, I've got to take the 
bounce off everything. I always forget that. That's a, it's a nuisance, that is. If they could change the default to something that you can change yourself into whatever your default you want it to be, then it'd be useful. But the default's not useful without having it to be changed into something. But there you go. Not to worry. Hopefully they'll sort that out soon. Right. That's okay. We just need some sound on now, don't we? Yeah. Right. Actually, that vehicle should uh, should disappear off the screen, shouldn't it? Wait a minute. Let's go there. Right. I need to do this. Click on that. Now bring it all the way down here. Maybe a bit bigger as well as it's leaving. There, lot of, so that's that way. That's better. So it's leaving off the screen. That's it. Okay, that's fine. Right. Okay, so all we need now is just the um, voiceover for me and um, his lip sync and music and some sound effects. So that's what we're going to do now. Right, so first of all, I'll do my voiceover first. Welcome to our street. As you can see, it's always very busy. Oh, look, here comes Eric. Hi, Eric, how are you? Right, that was my little bit there. And I need to just cut that down a bit if I can. If I let me. You're going to let me cut that, is it? Right, let's just try it. Welcome to our street. As you can see, it's always very busy. Oh, look, here comes Eric. Hi, Eric, how are you? I'll just go there, move that over a little bit. That's all right, because then I can put his uh, lip sync on straight on. Then hello, I am quite well, thank you. How are you? Let's try that. Hello, I am quite well, thank you. How are you? Right, that sounds all right. All I need to do now is add the lip sync to the track, which is the, the top track. Is the lightest one you've done. It always seems to be anyway. So let's just show you that. Hopefully, it should do the thing. You know, watch. Hello, I am quite well, thank you. How are you? There you go. That was the lip sync on. So that's fine. If you notice, both of these are on the audio line below the music line. This you've got to make sure you put your, everything that's um, not music goes under the music line. So what we're going to get next is the sound effects which are going to go under the music line again. Right, so we're going to do that. Buzz horn, I'm going to use a buzz horn for the um, camper van. Right. That's going to be there. As you can see, it's under that line. There's like a, a thin black line that's under the grey area of the music. And then there should be a drive-by somewhere on here. I've got car drive away. And just do that one and put that one about there. Right, now, if you can, if you want to have a look at these, to be honest, there's... Um, a thing here it says play through which means it plays through if you've got any long um, voiceovers which you want to go through all the scenes with one voiceover say if you've got a script or something you can do that and keep that clicked on play through and it'll, it'll do each scene and throughout the scenes you can play through it and it'll do all your voiceover until you're finished on there right that's if you right click it. Um, with these voiceovers as well, I want the voiceover to be 90% uh, volume. I don't need the play through on it, so I take that off. Right, and the same goes for the um, lip sync. I don't need play through on it, and I want it to be about 90%. I want it to be, to be louder than the other stuff so you can hear what's going on. Right. 
Oh, oh there, there. Now these sound effects, you don't want them that loud. So around uh, 15 to 20 percent, really. And obviously they got to play through anyway. So 15 percent on that. And the same goes with this one. About 15 percent. Now play through. We don't need it, right? Okay, next we've only got to add the music. Now when we add the music, it's just simple, just um, drag it down to the music line. Just need to find some music. I've got that many, that many oh, an unexpected twist, that'll do. That's the one I want. Right, so we've got that, and with the music, you cut the volume down to around between 5 and 10 in fact I'm going to put it about 8 or 9 8 I don't want it 5 because it ain't uh, enough but um, if you notice it's got play through on there I'm going to leave that on because it will cut it at the end of the scene however the scene is if you don't have the play through on this is what happens I'll show you take the play through off ok um, Oh, so when the end of the scene finishes, the music will still play, right, until it gets to the end of the music. You can, however, cut it down, but it, it's a lot of work just to cut it back like that. You might as well just put play through on it. If you've only got one scene, it'll just play to the end of the, what's it, and that'll be it then. So it's easier to put the play through on it, like that. And that'll end there, and if I wanted to add fade out at the end, fade out that's it you can't um, adjust the fade out but it's depending where you want the fade out to be is you know you could you'd have to judge it yourself that where you want it to start and where you want it to finish and everything right so now I've just added that with the fade out on the end of the music and we're gonna preview the lot and Let's see if it looks all right. Welcome to our street. As you can see, it's always very busy. Oh, look, here comes Eric. Hi, Eric, how are you? Hello, I am quite well, thank you. How are you? As you can see, that was pretty good. Um, so, um, if you've got any questions, please uh, do ask me anytime. You know, I'll really appreciate it any com comments or feedback that you might give me and please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. I hope this tutorial is useful to you and have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye.